Hey Leaderboard, it's Lane from Drift Coffee Roasters in Dawson Creek. I'm real excited to bring you back another coffee. And as you can see, I'm just on my way to Colombia, so stay tuned for the reveal. After a long trip down to Colombia, wow, well, we're finally here, I think. Hey guys, is it, is it working? I really enjoy coffees from Nariño, especially this coffee from Jenny Pinchao at Finca La Esmeralda. This Couture lot grown at 2100 meters above sea level is bright, expressive, and represents a fantastic coffee from Busaco. Looking around, this coffee is so high that I can almost see the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. It's unreal. So as I continue my farm tour, I'm going to talk a little bit about coffee. How would I identify this? Well, I start out by just looking at it. It's small, which is a clear indication of high elevation. It's round. Yeah, it could be Keturah for sure. And it shows all signs of a wash coffee. For me, this coffee was explosive on the cupping table. Up front, it is bright, refreshing and crisp with a citrus and grapefruit acidity. That should lead you to high elevation and likely a wash coffee. Flavors I find are stone fruits, blackberry, green grape, and raspberry. This coffee also has a sweet, long black tea finish. When I make this coffee outside a leaderboard, I'm drinking it on a pour-over filter. I really like how it uh, highlights the acidity and the clarity of the coffee. As I wrap up my trip down to Finca La Esmeralda, wherever you're watching this, comment so that Jenny knows how much you love her coffee.